All right, we're gonna look at some school books. Here's the first one, the new Basic Readers. This is 6-1 and I love that it's pink. Next, Children Everywhere. This one is also pink. It's a light pink and blue and yellow. Very sweet. Fields and Fences. Got some writing in here. Maybe a teacher had this. Spelling today. I didn't see a date in this one. It says up here, it's a fourth grade speller. And it's got a note from a teacher in here. And when you open it up, it has keeping score, um, some guidelines for learning um, spelling words. So it's generally a pretty darn cute little spelling book. Adventures in Science with Bob and Don. I am working on building this uh, complete set. This is book two. So, um, Baby Woodpeckers, Muskrat House, Goodbye Picnic, Tree Blossoms, Down to the Brook, Snowy Tracks, Food and Heat, Long Shadows, Christmas Trees, Cakes for the Birds, No Hungry Birds, Milkweed Seeds, Lilac Bush, all kinds of sciencey nature study in here. Some different types of trees, having a terrarium, different types of animals. Very cute. Then I have three of these that I'm going to sell as a set. This is Splendid Journey. Speeding Away. And ready to roll. So these are, uh, this is book one, part one. This one is book three, part two, and this is book three, part one. Then we have um, another new basic reader. This is a primer. Nice orange color. This one is called Hilltop Trails. And then we have more fun with our friends. A nice, uh, this is book one, um, new basic readers. So there is one that's called Fun With Friends, I believe is pink, and this one is more fun with friends, and it is blue. This beautiful book is Music Near and Far. This is a um, fourth level music book. It's really, really pretty inside. It's got some lovely illustrations. I just recently sold another um, school book in this series. I don't remember which one it was, but this one is number four. Okay, so that's our first stack. Now I'll get the second stack ready. All right, here is my second stack. As you can see, these are all bluish green readers and um, school books. The Pathway to Reading, fifth reader. Lovely. Child Story Readers, fifth reader. It's more of a green color. Okay. Days and Deeds.
I know a secret. This is a more like, I would say a level one. Very colorful inside. I like this series a lot. This is the Easy Growth and Reading series. Literature in the Junior High School, book one. Note to the teacher in the front, here's the inside. find this book anywhere that I looked on the internet to find out more about it. It is just so beautiful. So this is effective writing that you're looking at there. Effective use of words and sentences, using books, magazines, and newspapers, preparing to write. Effective speech, talking with your friends. Goals and plans. Golly, this is just stunning. This one is amazing too. Um, Living Through Biography, The High Trail, very Art Deco. Rudyard Kipling, Martin Johnson and Jack London. The White House Gang, The World That Was. Clocks and Wagon Wheels, Boots and Saddles. Dragon Hunter in the Gobi Desert. So here's the table of contents. Such a beautiful book. And this one too, I mean, just stunning. Literature and Life, book two. I think book one is green, if you wanted to look that up and maybe um, make a little set. Can we please go back to making textbooks the way they made them in the 1930s? I think that was the best decade for textbook design. Um, my favorite frozen poetry set is also from the 1930s. Okay, so that's my second stack. Now let's get ready for the third, third set of textbooks. The first one is mathematics for junior high schools. Um, I actually had fun flipping through this one. Uh, figuring costs, finding costs and expenses, ensuring the home, uh, probables, measuring rectangles, how to inscribe a square, classifications of triangles, using a compass, measurement, um, everyday use of decimals, um, height and weight standards, wage scales, um, let's see, problems and decimals, measuring range, study helps, difficulty, batting averages in baseball, problems in fractions, ratios, um, really useful and practical. So that's that's why I really liked that one. This one is called Times and Places and it is a, um, a reader, it is damaged, um, so it will be priced accordingly, but I like that it is orange, which is why it came home with me. So um, here's the spine. Using arithmetic number three, So that is, and um, you add plus, minus, or times to divide. Lots of those types of problems in here. Only two more days till Halloween. So little games in here for kids to play. Really pretty illustrations. Money. Isn't that cute? Very nice. I like it. The triangle arithmetic. Uh, California State Series, grade five. I always love to see this. Um, I love that um, typeface. Comparing fractions, practicing the fundamentals. Okay, all kinds of good stuff in there. This is Friends and Neighbors. This one has a damaged spine and will be priced accordingly. Let's see. I like the rounded pages on this one. 
and the cute little color illustrations. So sweet, it is just so sweet. Vocabulary Building Speller. And then this old guy is the elementary spelling book. Um, it is from, let's see, I don't have my glasses on, so 1906. These pages are loose. I like, I like that though. I like the little typefaces there. Okay, uh, this is a business speller and vocabulary builder. And then the Arnold Primer. Jack and I actually spent some time um, with this one. It's very loose though, but I like the style of illustration in this book. This is from the very early 1900s. Um, so there's the style of illustration and the, and the um, you know, vocabulary words. There's some color in here and lots of pages. Lots of these pages are loose, um, but I still really liked this book, uh, which is why we actually read from it for a while. And I like, I like that style of illustration. Um, oh, look, it's Jess the cow. Okay. Next, the Silver Burdette Arithmetic, book three. Give me that. Messages, cablegram. These arithmetic books are really cool. Okay, Elson, Grammar School Reader, book two. Story of Ulysses, the story of Achilles, the fir tree, lots of poetry, the king of the Golden River, the Pied Piper, nice spine too. Okay, this is a primer, Ellison Basic Readers Primer. The Ellison series is very, very nice inside and outside. This has just top-notch illustrations. Very vivid and colorful. Um, and there's the black spine. And then this one is an Alice and Jerry book. So the new engine whistles. Alice and Jerry books are always very popular. This one has a reinforced taped spine. Okay, so that's book uh, stack number three. We've got one more to go. Okay, here is my next stack. Some good ones in here. Ben and Alice. Oh, this one is so precious. Look how bright and lovely those illustrations are. So sweet. These early ones are just the best, aren't they? All right, this is the children's third reader. This is from 1900. Brave Drummer Boy. The First Spring. Grandmother Holmes and the Indian. The Landing of the Pilgrims. Eva's Visit to Fairyland. The Roman Slave. Oh, there's, look at that. Like a little church envelope. <laughs> little strawberry blossom. Okay, lots of good stuff in there, and I love that spine. Some animals and their homes. 1936. Homes made of mud, made of paper, made of wax. Homes of bees that live alone. Homes of silk. Um, crabs and their homes. And houses, uh, some animals that carry their houses around with them. What a nice little nature study book. 
at Lost and Found. Look at this pink coral kind of color. Very pretty. This one is from 1947. This might be one of the sweetest illustrated ones that I have, and that's saying something because I have a lot. <laughs> There's just something a little bit gentler about these illustrations. A little bit softer. Oh, lovely. Along Friendly Roads. This is a third reader, the Vets Basic Reader Series. story there. Cowboy Tales, West of the Rockies, Rolling Plains, River Day, and By the Sea. Along the way, this is another one from the um, Easy Growth and Reading series. This is Second Reader Level 1. Over Hill on Plain, Highways and byways, adventuring we go, up under the open sky, time to play, whistle while you work, new trails. Forest folk build a house. Cats, dogs, and little fishes. The queen bee. Charlie gets a letter. Hannah blows the horn. Very nice. Wonder World. Uh, the New Silent Readers Book 3. This one is a little bit loose. Um, some of the pages, you can see there's some issues there. Oh, how pretty. Look at those lovely illustrations. Here's the table of contents. poems, all kinds of stuff. Raising tadpoles. So sweet. I know a story, the Wonder Story books. Reading Foundations series. So we have the Gingerbread Boy, the Three Bears, Billy Goat's Gruff, and Mr. Vinegar. Hmm, I think Jack and I might have to read this one. Okay, The Early Caveman. I've not seen this one before, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's textured, too. It's got some nice texture on, on the front. So The Early Caveman is from 1904. Um, oh, this edition is from 1923. How People Know What Cavemen Did. Things to think about a mammoth hunt, uh, making splints for baskets. They shouted praises to the fire gods, the Thanksgiving feast. Why, why Firekeeper made a door? The council, the flood, how the cavemen spent the winter, the fire clan, making new weapons, preparations for a feast, how the fire clan got a cave. <coughs> Excuse me. The Winston Reader's third reader. This one has some damage along the spine. This is from 1918. Got some French fairy tales here, all kinds of different stories. The Little Tin Soldier, The Wind. The boasting bamboo. East of the sun and west of the moon. Wishing. The fairies. All kinds of good stuff. This is the last one in the animal world. Let's 
see. This is 1918. So the cat family, the dog family, seals and sea lions, bears, nars, the monkey family, thick-skinned animals, cud chewers, and the horse family. Very cool. All right, so that's that set. Here is our last stack of books. So this is the oldest one that I have, and it's very, very shabby. It's from 1844, it's a school reader, third book. Um, the cover, back cover is off, but it is still there. Uh, so this is just for people that really like the historic, old, very old books. The Open Door Language Series, fifth grade. It is missing its title page, so I am not sure of the age. Helping with the cleaning, secret practice, caring for pets, new friends, helping in the spelling of words in mischief. This is another very shabby one, but I know a lot of you guys like old American history textbooks, no matter the shape that they're in. So this one is from 1904. Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, George Rogers Clark, Patrick Henry, Daniel Boone, Marquette and LaSalle, James Oglethorpe, John Locke, Lord Baltimore. Going all the way back to um, Explorers. And then um, this is American Hero Stories, a really pretty one, very pretty. This is from 1920, so here's the table of contents. Lots of great um, stories in here about all kinds of people that we just saw in that American history book as well. George Washington, William Penn, Peter Stuyvesant. Okay, children's classics in dramatic form. This is book two. So let's see what plays we have in here. I don't care to all contents. I'm not sure. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, the wolf and the lamb. Lazy Kate. So these are all classic stories, but put into play form. Beautiful blue, too. I love that. Okay, this is another Elsa reader. This is book six, and these have the nice orange spines. Uh, very art deco, very pretty. Youthful Patriots of Colonial, Colonial Time, The King of the Golden River, West Wind, The Yankee Clipper Ship, From Indian Trail to Air Mail, The Gold of Rainbow Slow, Bird Nesting in Winter, The Family of Bob White, Bob White, Bob White. Okay, Illinois and the Nation. This is one of my older school books. Um, obviously, it was an Illinois State school book. Illinois and the Nation, How They Are Governed, 1899. National Government. And then in the front is Public School System, Town Government, the Divisions of the State, State Government. So a nice civics book, very old civics book. Uh, algebra for today, second course. Trig, logarithms, quadratic equations, powers and roots, practical equations, equations of the first degree, fundamental laws and operations, and the study of relationships. Uh, treasure trails, heights and highways. This one is really cool. Moving, how to train a lion. Dots and Dashes, The Riverbank, Little Jarvis, Shen of the Sea, Escape of Sophie the Seal, A Summer in Sweden, Boy and Girl, Life on a Ranch, The Kingdom of Little Care, The Brown Marsh Hawk, How, to, How a Cat Played Robinson Crusoe, Well, and Cat the Copper Eskimo. Good reading, fifth reader, nice blue book. Let's 
see. The nation and the school just for fun. Good citizenship and service about dogs. The world about us. Stories from famous books. Christmas. Adventures outside our world. The wonderful sea. Pioneers. Birds, flowers, animals, and trees. Some letters by famous people. Two Rip Van Winkle stories. American poets, old and new. Beautiful. What we owe to the birds. Hmm. Literary selections, child story reader, eighth year. This is a beautiful book. It's in perfect condition. This is from 1936. Dickens, that's Charles Dickens. Music of Nature. There's Henry David Thoreau. Three Sundays in a Week, The Great Stone Face. How beautiful. Adventures of Don Quixote. Spartacus to the Gladiators. Horatius at the Bridge. Health and Growth Series, Keeping Healthy. I love these um, health, healthy living textbooks. This one is a beautiful green and really good condition, 1936. Sink or Swim, Experiments and Problems, Practicing Good Habits, Joy and Good Posture, A Plan to Prevent Colds, What to Do in Case of a Fire, Preventing Fires, Animals that Play Safe, Signs of Health, Testing the Heart, Fresh Air Indoors, The Good Sunlight, um, Preventing Sickness, Getting Ready for Quiet Rest, Bath Time Routine, how to help the eyes, seven rules to practice. Tests of hearing, good form in brushing the teeth, building good mealtime habits, good fruit for everyone, vegetables, breakfast, milk, candy. Isn't that fun? I love it so much. This is a college textbook, Animals Without Backbones. Got some index cards in there. There are lots of really great illustrations, and I know we've been studying invertebrates quite a lot in our house, so I thought somebody else might be and would like a higher level textbook. Merry Go Round, I love this one. This is an advanced copy, and um, part of it, the first um, 20 pages are illustrated by Richard Scarry, and then the other parts are illustrated by some other wonderful illustrators. This is just an all-around, really lovely, fun, delightful little school book. So sweet. And the last one, Standard Textbook of Cosmetology. How can you go wrong? These are just the best. And this one is well used. Somebody took copious notes. Uh, there's all kinds of great stuff in here about makeup and hair and everything you can imagine. Isn't that amazing? Pedicures, manicures. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay guys, that's everything I have. A lot. I think that was about 60 um, school books.